Good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Logan's Devotions. Great to be together. Wonderful to open up God's Word for another day and see what he has to say. Let's come before the Lord in a time of prayer before we turn to his word. Father in heaven, we thank you for your word and we pray that you would use it to strengthen our souls, that our affections for Christ might grow as we faithfully walk before you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, picking up at verse 3 and reading for a few different sections. This is my defense to those who would examine me. Do we not have the right to eat and drink? Do we not have the right to take along a believing wife? Or do the other apostles and the brothers of the Lord and Cephas? Or is it only Barnabas and I who have no right to refrain from working for a living? Who serves as a soldier at his own expense? Who plants a vineyard without eating any of its fruit? Or who tends a flock without getting some of the milk? Do I say these things on human authority? Does not the law say the same? For it is written in the law of Moses, you shall not muzzle an ox when it treads out the grain. Is it for oxen that God is concerned? Does he not certainly speak for our sake? It was written for our sake, because the ploughman should plough in hope, and the thresher thresh in hope of sharing the crop. If we have sown spiritual things among you, is it too much if we reap material things from you? If others share this rightful claim on you, do we not even more? Nevertheless, we have not made use of this right, but we endure anything rather than put an obstacle in the way of the gospel for Christ. Do you not know that those who are employed in the temple service get their food from the temple, and those who serve in the altar share in the sacrificial offerings? In the same way, the Lord commanded that those who proclaim the gospel should get their living by the gospel. But I have made no use of any of these rights, nor am I writing these things to secure any such provision. For I would rather die than have anyone deprive me of my ground for boasting. Well, it's the year 2023. What's your priority? What's your priority this year going to be? Is it going to be to obtain the latest Hyundai? Is it going to be to build an extension on your house, to upgrade to a new job, maybe to have an extra 17 children? What's going to be the big focus for your life this year? It's always a challenging, isn't it, at the beginning of the year to think through? Well, what would you say was the goal for the Apostle Paul if he was alive in 2023? What was his focus? What would his focus have been? It's an interesting challenge, isn't it? Is my focus the gospel? Paul was willing to set all things aside for the sake of the gospel, for the sake of the gospel of Christ. He lists off and talks about all these different things. There's lots of different things we could pick up here, but I just want to focus in on one little thing here. And it's what he says there in verse 12. Nevertheless, we have not made use of this right but we endure anything rather than put an obstacle in the way of the gospel of Christ. Paul Paul says, I am willing to give up everything and anything and lay aside every single right I have for the sake of the gospel. For the sake of the gospel. Is that your attitude? Is that my attitude? Is the gospel of such an imminent importance for me that I would be willing to lay everything aside in order to ensure that it ran forward? Now, granted, Paul is saying this as an apostle who had a particular calling. And for me, as a minister, I have a particular calling. But every one of us is called to live out the gospel. All of us. You, as a believer, if you're a believer, are not excluded from the need for the gospel to go to the ends of the earth. Because we need every person to be marshaled in the great call of taking the gospel of Christ to the ends of the earth. And so the question comes not just to apostles, not just to ministers, but to every single child of God. Will we prioritize the gospel in 2023? Will we be prepared to lay down the rights 
of marriage, income, work, children, whatever is necessary in order to ensure that nothing becomes a stumbling block to the gospel. Now, I'm not suggesting that every single Christian ought to give up husbands, wives, and children for the sake of the gospel. But we ought all be, to be prepared to, right? Isn't that what Jesus said? Anyone who loves his mother or father or brother or sister or child more than me is not worthy to be my disciple. It's not that Jesus is saying, don't love your parents. But he's saying, your love for me should exceed. And we could say the same about the gospel. Our devotion to the gospel ought to exceed our devotion to other things. Our devotion to work. I mean, I know that as Kiwis, we can be really passionate about work. I was a dairy farmer. I worked a lot. And maybe you're a farmer. Maybe you're a businesswoman. I don't know, whatever job you do, maybe you're tempted to just like give your all to your work or your company or your business. Give your all to the gospel. See everything in your life as a means to drive the gospel forward and be willing to give up anything and everything for the sake of the gospel so that you can say with Paul that I'll make use of no rights, no freedoms, no expectations that other people are allowed to lay hold of for the sake of not putting an obstacle before the gospel of Christ. I know that as a human being, I'm entitled to work and a family and holidays and a retirement fund. But let me be prepared to lay all those things down for the sake of the gospel. Is that your heart attitude? Is that my heart attitude? That's a challenge for 2023, isn't it? Where is my priority going to lie? Well, may it be in the gospel. Let's pray. Father in heaven, help us to prioritize well and to honor you in this year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me again. I'll see you back here tomorrow afternoon.